Profit charts has the ability to take symbols and arithmetic operators and display new synthetic symbols. In other words, you can create ratio charts. And even though it's known as a ratio chart, this can take the form of arithmetic or uh, subtraction or even multiplication. So here are a couple of examples. Let's say, for instance, we wanted to take uh, the ETF for gold, GLD, and divide it by the ETF for silver, SLV. We would enter parentheses, GLD divided by SLV, close parentheses, and press enter. And that would yield for us, in the time we've requested, uh, that ratio of gold to silver. We could just as easily, for example, try indexes. So we want to look at the Russell 2000 divided by the Dow Jones 30. Uh, we could get a sense as to the uh, market's uh, reception toward risk and small caps uh, via this ratio. Now, you can also, uh, as I mentioned, uh, do other arithmetic operators. For example, you may have heard of the, the, uh, the four horsemen of the NASDAQ. We have Apple and RIM and uh, Google and Amazon. We could add all four of those together, and it would show us the sum of those four. And we could even, uh, using another uh, set of parentheses, uh, uh, divide them to show sort of a, an average of the four Horseman. So within the symbol blocks, you can enter really any combination of symbols plus minus times divided by in parentheses that is arithmetically sensible. One more uh, direct way to do it, which also allows you to see everything you're typing, is by choosing the ratio chart item from the menu. So we have here these uh, four symbols that I just typed, and I'll envelop these with an extra um, set of parentheses divided by four and say get chart and this shows us the uh, the average of these four or for instance if we want to go back to our gold silver ratio and uh, normalize it a bit because gold is about seven times more than silver on the ETFs we could multiply silver times seven and divide that by gold and thus get that chart you may have also noticed this extra button here called save ratio if there are certain formulas that you're going to be using uh, from time to time and would rather avoid retyping them each time, you can click on Save Ratio and that will preserve that formula in a module, which we can see over here, uh, called Ratio Charts. And if we uh, display our modules and look inside Ratio Charts, we can see that the, uh, the one symbol we just uh, entered is there. There's a couple right here. Here's the first one that I saved earlier, and here's the second one. And by double clicking on anything preserved there, you can uh, yield that. I must have had an error in that particular formula, but let's try this other one. And there we go. So that's a quick way of accessing um, items that you've typed in the past. So that's a quick introduction to ratio charts.